On July 8, 1969, during a routine cleaning of nerve gas-filled bombs stored at the Chibana Ammunition Depot on the Japanese island, Okinawa, a sarin leak occurred in a 500-pound bomb, which injured 24 U.S. personnel. The U.S. Army initially tried to cover up the incident, but this effort came to naught when the Wall Street Journal published the details of the incident. The press reports prompted a storm of public protests in Japan, leading the Japanese government to demand that the weapons immediately be removed from Okinawa. This Okinawa incident is just one example of what can be found in Braille's online collection, Weapons of Mass Destruction. The almost 2,400 documents in this collection tell the story of how America secretly built up the world's largest stockpile of nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons. They explain the role these weapons played in a series of world crises, how they shaped U.S. and NATO defense and foreign policy during the Cold War, and what incidents and nearly averted disasters happened. Moreover, they shed a light on the dreadful human and ecological legacy left by decades of nuclear, chemical, and biological weapons manufacturing and testing in the U.S. and overseas. This collection is especially relevant for intelligence historians, Cold War historians, historians of the Korea War, military historians, environmental researchers, graduate and undergraduate students of modern history, and researchers as well as government and military specialists working on international relations, security, and military strategy and tactics. A good starting point to explore the collection is the background article written by historian Matthew Aid, who was a leading expert on intelligence matters. In his essay, Aid formulates his key findings, such as the fact that the U.S. military gave serious consideration to dropping thousands of tons of chemical weapons on civilian and military targets in Japan in order to weaken the Japanese government's will to resist. But the documents reveal that the U.S. military was unprepared to execute this plan because too few chemical munitions had been deployed in the Pacific, and military commanders reported that they would not have enough weaponry available to execute the plan until at least 1945. This collection also contains over 100 declassified U.S. government and military documents pertaining to the safety and security of nuclear weapons. These documents cover a host of highly sensitive subjects, such as faulty weapons design, vulnerability of certain weapons to theft or unauthorized use, and an alarming general lack of interest in nuclear weapon safety and security issues inside the Pentagon during the 1950s and early 1960s. The documents show that the vital question of protecting the weapons in the U.S. nuclear arsenal from theft or unauthorized use did not begin to receive any high-level attention until the Kennedy administration, 1961 through 1963, when the White House ordered that special security devices called Permissive Action Link, PAL, be installed in every weapon, especially those deployed overseas in Europe and Asia. This and many, many more can be found at brill.com forward slash WMD.